In today's video, I'm going to show you what I believe to be the most consistent man-beating concept in Madden 24, and it's going to come to us out of the gun trips tied in. It's my favorite formation in the game. If you want to get my entire trips tied in offensive ebook, the link is going to be in the description to join the Patreon. For just 10 bucks, you'll get access to all of my Madden uh, 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as my Madden 24. I'm still playing Madden 23, but we are in Madden 24. This is Madden 24. I'm just like... I haven't slept, so I'm forgetful. Uh, but what you'll see right here is this uh, YN play is super, super effective at beating man-to-man -man co coverage consistently. So here's the setup that I like to do for this. Basically, what we're going to do here is we are going to leverage the power of the running back wheel route combined with the slant post. And it already has this little stock post route. If you have tied in apprentice, feel free to put the tight end on a post. But really, this is the setup right here. This is one of my favorite ways to beat coverage if the running back gets matched up on um, like a one-on-one -on -one matchup over the top you can oftentimes get that wheel route over the defender uh, in a situation like that so that's something to look forward uh, or look for another thing that is pretty consistent in Madden 24 is this slant route and these rack catch, uh, rack catching animations they like catch them <laughs> they catch them in stride they run well um, you're going to have pretty good success. Now, if you, let's say, for example, you're like, well, I don't want to, I don't want my running back to like run into the guy, or maybe you want a little bit better, like horizontal stretching on the defense. What I would recommend is you can also put the running back on just a five yard out and this five yard out, uh, will do a really good job of creating space for your opponent. Now, every now and then, um, in Madden 24, you're going to see these like receivers where they'll just kind of like spaz out. I, I hope um, that this gets updated because it is kind of weird little random bugs with the game. But basically, this is where the slot, the tight end press post would be better um, because he doesn't do that as bad. But this rounded in route, generally speaking, is going to beat man to the inside. You're going to click on an ag catch that um, so that you can just make sure that you secure the catch. So you have the tight end. Um, you have the tight end little in route against man coverage. You also have the slant. You have... Uh, the whip route, which I'll come back to in a second, but the big uh, the big route you have over the top is this skinny post, which should beat man for a potential one play touchdown. So the only way they can stop that is they're going to have to have some help in their coverage, or they're going to have to back their coverage off. Right? They're going to have to really kind of like think that through. So um, in in a situation like that, we're going to drop this guy into a middle third, have some help for the slant route. And that's going to leave this whip route in an off coverage situation. When whip routes are not pressed, they typically do a pretty good job at being able to beat me in coverage uh, to the sideline. You just have to want what you want to do with the wheel or uh, I apologize, the whip route is you want to kind of like free form it kind of to the sideline a little bit more so than like a standard pass lead. And what you'll see here is if you free form it, down and outside, he'll catch it in stride, and you'll be able to get a simple five-yard gain. You know, really the, the out route is, and the other thing you can do with this, which we didn't even get to yet, is you can also use this, like, stock out route that they have in the play. Um, that out route was a little better last year. So far, it's not super powerful, um, but we also don't have a ton of route running abilities yet. Um, so something to kind of keep in, in mind. But all in all, this is one of my favorite ways to just attack the defense in general. And please don't sleep on these running back wheel routes. As you can see, they just cook me in coverage over the top. Guys, trip side in is an offense this year that is equipped to do a lot of damage. There's so many good concepts in trip side in. And the way the spacing is going to work out this year and the way the rack catching is going to work out, these routes are going to catch the ball in stride. They're going to run the ball well. And I think this really poses trip side in to be one of the better offenses. We've already dropped three ebooks for you in the Patreon. In less than 12 hours, the game's been out. We've got more ebooks coming later today. Join the Patreon today for just $10, and you're going to get access to all of the ebooks that we have, as well as all the new ebooks that we're going to be dropping as long as your membership is active. So sign up for the Patreon. You can sign up by heading down to the description.